Dr. Fuller would like to keep you both under observation for a few nights. Both? Well, me too? Yeah, sugar, the doctor thinks it would be best. I'm just going to give you a quick checkup. Uh, look, Miss Ratchet, let's get one thing straight. I've seen cuckoo's nest, so don't try any of that soul-crushing, authoritarian crap on me. Okie dokie. You can go ahead and take your pants down now. What are you doing here? So, why am I in the half that doesn't know the good gossip? Red's been bitching with the football team since Vanessa got hired last year. I bake cookies for the entire offensive line. Why don't those juice heads spell anything to me? Dudes talk to dudes. And if you wish to remain a dude, spill. Way back when Red was the assistant coach and Vanessa was cheer captain, they had an affair. That's it? Come on, there's got to be more than that. After six months, Red tells his wife he wants a divorce without telling Vanessa first. No. Uh-huh. No. Oh, yeah. That's genius. What a doof. Well, Vanessa got weirded out and broke it off. Then Red got creamed in the divorce. A broke doof. The most dangerous kind. So, what's the deal? He's got a grudge against Vanessa, so he's out for the entire squad? He wants to downgrade us to a pep squad. This girl don't do pom-poms. Election's less than two weeks away. We don't have time to be jerking off here. Wow, not an image I wanted in my head. Where were you? Slept in. You never sleep in. I lost my watch. And you took it. Well, it looks like yours, but it's mine. Jamie, how long until we have to leave for the debate? Ten till. I'll make sure the car's out front. He's more nervous than I am. And you're surprised by this. Oh my! What do I have here? It looks vaguely like a man's timepiece. Where on God's green earth did you find it, Gwen? My kitchen counter. The kitchen counter? What was it doing there? The press has fallen all over themselves. I just hope these kids can stay awake. Adams knew I'd come after him on the gang thing. Covered his bases. Expected counter move. It doesn't take the shine off you. So why tell me before the debate? Because he's trying to shake you. And obviously it's working. Is this what's really bothering you? Move in with me. Avoiding my question. You're avoiding mine. You can break hearts after you get the single female vote. You're cold-blooded. That's my job, taking care of you. Maybe. After the election, if you're ready. I'm ready right now. Darren, I know where you were this morning. I just wish you'd talk to me, that's all. Ahem. <clears throat> Didn't mean to interrupt. I'll be in the back if you need me, sir. Delia, what are you doing? You gave me your word. We spoke in confidence. I assure you, I told your husband nothing. AC threw my luggage in the pool. Darling, let's Shut up, Oleg! Men are such babies. Randall must have shown him the tape, after all. Tape? Randall recorded it, Oleg. No. What, a sex tape? Oleg? Um, the main space for it is the eagle, but not so main. Randall was using it against me, forcing me to convince my husband not to fire him. Fire him? He was pestering AC about some safety issue. Yeah, what was the issue? Something technical. It was easier to fire him than to fix it. But why not fix it, though? It's unfixable. Did Randall's blackmail work? For a while. Then AC stopped listening to me. I begged Randall, but he said that he was going to release the tape and reveal the flaw. That would postpone the launch. And Chase Aerospace would risk being cut out of history. Oleg, I'm sorry that I wouldn't be your alibi, but I can now. Now? Well, now it's too late. Tell you, come here. Mrs. Chase, we're drying out your luggage that we have prepared in another room for you. Thank you, I'll be right down. Mr. Balligan, I don't know where my husband was when Randall was murdered, but if his launch date was threatened, I do know that he's capable. 